A unique collaboration exists between public and private sectors, led by the Department of Energy. Its purpose is to build the most advanced high-density microelectronic tissue interface, one that enables cells to communicate to machines. This advanced technological platform allows the ability to interface with cells and is applicable to all sorts of other future technologies, such as environmental sensors for cleanup, to counter bioterrorism, and to harness energy. The test bed chosen to prove out the capabilities of this approach is the retina, because it is a well-studied neural tissue. Moreover, the retinal approach allows us to develop a cure for millions by restoring sight to those for whom there is no foreseeable cure. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, and retinitis pigmentosa, RP, are blinding diseases that destroy the light-sensing photoreceptor cells in the eye, but leave the remaining visual system relatively intact. The success of this project is based on collaboration and technology transfer. Progress towards the first goal was achieved with an initial prototype. The patient wears a special pair of glasses, which contains a tiny camera, which transmits an image to the implant, which is then transmitted to the remaining healthy retinal cells, optic nerve, and brain. This is how the patient is able to perceive light, the second generation, of artificial retinas have provided useful visual percepts with an acceptable safety profile. They're smaller, more powerful, and have been implanted with less surgical invasion. Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory uses microfabrication technology to develop thin, flexible neural electrode arrays that conform to the retina's curved shape. Lawrence Livermore also uses advanced packaging technology and system-level integration to interconnect the thin film electrode array and the electronics package. Doheny Eye Institute at the University of Southern California manages the collaboration as well as provides medical direction and performs preclinical and clinical testing of the electrode array implants. Sandia National Laboratories develops microelectromechanical systems, MEMS, and high voltage subsystems for advanced implant designs. These include micro tools, electronic packaging, and application specific integrated circuits. Argonne National Laboratory is developing packaging and hermetic seal technology to protect the prosthetic device from the saline ocular environment using their R&D 100 award-winning ultra nanocrystalline diamond technology. Los Alamos National Laboratory performs imaging and modeling of retinal function and develops advanced optical imaging techniques. These contributions will provide a better understanding of how the prosthesis works by mapping the interaction between the brain and retina. Oak Ridge National Laboratory measures the effect of increasing the number of electrodes on the quality of the electrical signals used to stimulate the surviving neural cells in the retina. North Carolina State University performs electromagnetic and thermal modeling of the device to help determine how much energy can be used to stimulate the remaining non-diseased cells. University of California Santa Cruz performs bi-directional telemetry for wireless communication and designs electronic components for stimulating the electrode array. Caltech performs real-time image processing of miniature camera output for optimizing visual perception. Our commercial partner, Second Sight Medical Products, manufactured the Model 1 and Model 2 devices, with the latter having DOE contributions. They will also integrate DOE technologies into a Model 3 design. Second Sight will be responsible for integration and production of devices under FDA regulations, performance of clinical trials, and eventual commercial distribution to patients. The results have been astonishing, but we hope to use this knowledge to venture into other disciplines, such as in devices to treat Parkinson's disease, cochlear implants, and insulin pumps. It is through a unique interdisciplinary consortium that leverages the expertise within the national labs, academia, and industry that our group has accomplished the development of an advanced technological platform the artificial retina. But it is clear that this is just the tip of the iceberg. 
just the beginning of spawning a whole new genre of high-density, abiotic-biotic interfaces.